Hello everybody, I am Lisbeth and welcome to episode 47 of my Oxygen Included Let's Play series. Uh, so today, um, I've started them digging up all of this so that we can have our very nice little, um, you know, hidden cable rather than uh, this one running down the side here. I'm also slipping it up this side here. Um, I could... And what I might end up doing, rather than having this up here, um, when I've got a bit more time, um, put it through here, um, and vacuum a bit out in here, but for now, I'm not going to bother with it. Um, because today, it's time to start working on the sour gas condenser. Um, now, I need to finish off this bit along the side here, um, which I can probably just about... Put a ladder there, um, actually probably put it down one, um, and then they can work their way around, but we'll get there. Um, and then it's just this last little bit here. Uh, now, as far as there's one bit of corium there, two, three, four, five, then that's about it. There's all this depleted uranium of course. Now I am unsure um, whether or not I'll actually be able to sweep up the corium um, if I dig it up. So we'll find out I suppose. Um, we are going to go around this big chunk here because that's just too much effort <laughs> um, and I'm fine with that it'll just slip around the edge here but um, that's pretty whatever. Uh, but for now let's start. Uh, one moment let me just open up the screenshots I took earlier because I was actually sensible enough this time to screenshot what we're building. That's the one. Very nice. And that can get opened up. All right. Excuse me? Well, when did that happen? Unbelievable. So rude. Did water... Did it slip out here? I suppose so. Um, hmm, that's annoying. Um, and I can't really make this taller because there's all this stuff in here and, ah, <laughs> how frustrating. Um, well, I suppose we could at the very least start building it from the sides and build in all of the bits that are, um, don't need to be vacuumed out, and then we can do that last little bit. Um, so we'll, will we butt it up against this wall, or should I make it freestanding? Um, I suppose if I make it freestanding, then we can have our two gas storages off to one side. Um, now, I probably should dig this bit of copper out as well. Um, so we'll get that there. Alright, let's start building this thing. So we've got... It's one, two, three, four, five, six wide. No, it's five wide. All right, you ready? And we're gonna make this all out of ceramic. So I hope we've got enough. Uh, actually, let's build it from the bottom up because that's our limiting factor. Five wide plus the two on the side. Yeah, that looks about it. So, three, four, five. And then there will be uh, the two on the side, which is where the gas vent goes, okay? So ventilation, these don't overheat, so we can make it out of whatever we'd like. Um, yes, and that goes up two, three, four. Okay. That's all right. That's a good start. Um, well, and then there's three like that. Okay. 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 No, the, we need liquid pumps. Sorry. Not gas pumps. Mini liquid pumps. Like that. Um, and they are only plastic. Yeah, they are. Okay. We'll need, I suppose, ladder. Um, and that'll be the wall there. 
Um, now let's get all the gas and liquid pumps in first um, because they will be easier to... Come on, computer. You got this. There we go. So it goes up one, two, and then the third one is the... And these will also have to be ceramic. Um, so it goes up one up the second one, and then it's every second one after that. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven's the top one. Two, three, four, five, six. Is that it? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, six and seven are stacked right on top of each other. Yep, that's fine. All right. That's where the top is, so if we go, that's the top of it here. Um, and then our liquid vent goes there. Um, now, that actually won't be the top of it. What I will do, actually no, that will be the top of it, and then we'll put the gas vent down the side. So we can change this up a bit. I'll just leave them there, actually, uh, where they can't reach it for now, because we'll build it from the bottom up, of course. And by the time we get up there, we will be prepared to build our infinite gas storage on the side here, which sounds pretty good to me. Um, and of course, because these are the insulated gas pipes. This is where the insulated tiles go. Um, now, we won't be able to build them yet, of course. And then last but not least, radiant pipes. And they can be made of any... Th can they be made of anything? One moment. 538. They cannot be made of anything. Um, they need to be made of something that does not melt at a low temperature. Uh, and lead... What temperature does lead melt at? Too low, I think. Where is all that lead? Where does it get dug out from? Uh, surely there's some around on the map. That's Electrum. No, iron ore. There's some. 327, yeah, that's too... Too cold. Um, imagine saying that, too cold. Well, I suppose I can just make it out of gold, can't I? Because that melts at... Uh, well, let's find out. Gold. Gold. Oh, 1000 degrees, now we're fine. Like that. Uh, and the last thing, of course, is the gas vents. Um, now. That goes there like that. Um, so I don't forget, let's grab these metal tiles. And high thermal, thermal conductivity is a good thing. And we've got plenty of gold, so let's just use gold. All right, that lets me know what we're working with. Uh, now let's just scoot across. All right. The sour gas will be stored... I suppose if we have two layers of um, ceramic, that'll help me out. So I've got to run... Let's run our ventilation pipes through here. Um, like that, right? Um, now I have to run... Uh-oh. I don't have enough ceramic. Do, 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 do. Um, I was going to make these for ceramic, wasn't I? Alright, uh, let's go. And start making ceramic, I suppose. And that's the one that's supposed to... Oh, it's accepting everything. Fair enough. Um, well, let's just start cooking up some ceramic, um, and we'll let them build up all of this stuff down here. Um, and then I can 
pump all of this out. I... I actually do not see why this is steamed up. Because, like, none of these are hot enough to boil water. And it hasn't dripped through. Like, this is 90... Hmm. I call shenanigans. Okay, well, what can you do about it? Um, not much is the answer. I just have to deal. Um, so, we will also need... Pause for a tick. Uh, gas pipes to go through here. Um, now, I need room for three... Let's find out where... Um, I suppose I can stack them up here. Um, I have to have three thermoregulators. Um, and I need a way to cool them, because otherwise they'll get too hot on their own. Uh, let's get this built, and I'm going to get the rest of this tunnel dug and done. And then I can run the, you know, cooling loop all the way around through here. Uh, now I do have to pump all the air out of here and fill it up with helium, at least in this room. Um... And the helium's going to come in hot, and I don't want it to melt things, so I should be operating this first. So it just stops working. That sounds pretty fine to me. Alright. Look at all this liquid oxygen. Goodness me. Alright. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so I'll be back in a little bit. I'll let them build all this up, and I will get to work on the rest of that tunnel. Um, now, I will also bump the priority on this side up a bit, um, because we need it done quicker. Because uh, there's a lot more work to be done, and this needs to be functional before anything else will be functional. Alright. I'll catch you guys in a little bit.
Uh, well, <laughs> who dear? Um, we have filled the base up with ox uh, carbon dioxide again, um, because all of out here has a lot of carbon dioxide. Um, so I've got to build a real quick, uh, you know, gas destroyer like we had down here. Um, so let's set that up real quick. Um, we can just... Squish it in right here. Um, actually, I should probably build it sideways, shouldn't I? Something like that, and a few doors. Like that. Uh, and of course the pneumatic door so they don't accidentally wander in there. Um, and the old automation. Uh, and something like that with a timer and some buffer gates. I'm getting quite good at building these, I think. Um, actually, that's a very important one. Um, that's because we've busted through down here um, and there's quite a lot of carbon dioxide. Now, I am super duper lucky. I was really un... like, I was really careless with this uh, because uh, this could have had you know, um, zombie spores in it. Um, so I am very, very, very lucky. Um, cause we could have just like zombified the whole base. Uh, so yeah. What did I, oh no, I just clicked on the wrong button. All right, so I'm going to get them to build this, of course. Uh, yep, they're going to do that real quick. Um, but we're going really, really well over here. Um, look, we've only got this small little section here to do. Um, and this is what was worrying me about the... Yeah, all this corium coming off here. Uh-oh, did I just trap something? No, I didn't. That's all good. And Harold will come dig this up. Uh, but first, the... This. Nice, good job of... Ooh, does that... That's interesting. Something to think about. Uh oh, now get out of there. Oh no. No, no, you're okay. Uh, we want it to be green always for now. Um, so that gets what? Two, four, and six. And this can be green for. 30, uh, 2, 4, 6, so, one moment, let me just pause it, because I've completely forgotten the timing, um, green for 38, red for 8, I think, and that ought to start working. Um, now, I do believe the carbon skimmer will be enough to sort out this, so we've just got to really worry about all this carbon dioxide. And this helium and stuff is, of course, because we broke through here. 
Uh, but that's not a big deal at all. We just have to get rid of this carbon dioxide. Um, so yeah, that'll just be a waiting game now. And once this goes, it will remove... Hang on a second. 80 kilos at a time. Yeah, so... I think we'll be good. Um, just whoever's Harold and... Mima. Whoops. Oh, it's all right. It could have been worse. All right, let's get back to it and we'll keep them working from the top down for now um, because that will reduce the number of them coming out down here and letting more carbon dioxide in the base. Um, and that is why I should have a liquid lock here, but I don't because, you know, What fun is that? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's where we're up to it. But all of this is going quite well. I've been very careful going around this because I want to avoid dropping stuff down here. Um, just because the less there is to clean up, the better. There's already enough steam and stuff down here. All right, I'll be back in a little while again. Um, this is in a bit of shambles. It was built up better than this, but... Uh, we didn't have enough ceramic. Yes, that's still okay. Six. All right, we're good for now. How much heat are these producing, by the way? Oh. Doesn't... Oh, it needs coal as well. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Alright. Uh-oh. Why is Ari stressed? Pop the eardrums. Yeah, no, nah, because it's, um... There's so much carbon dioxide down here. Uh, especially over here. Did I just see? No, it's just radioactive contaminants. Um, food poisoning, radioactive contaminants. Just making sure there's like no zombie spores in here or something. I wonder if there's a mod uh, that makes uh, contaminants more visible. Because if I zoom out, like you can't really see what there is like this slime is super obvious and there's like where there's lots and lots of zombie spores but aside from that you can barely barely tell um it looks like there's a bunch over here yeah, yeah, yeah look at that but that's like a million a tile what if there's something like you know um here there's barely any there's only a couple of thousand just something to think about um Now, we're going to try and build these guys into this little section here. Alright, I'll be back in a little bit. Uh, Alright, so, um, I know I'm bringing you guys back before everything's finished, but I am actually, this is taking a very long time. <laughs> um, and we are... Doing better on the carbon dioxide front. Okay, so here's the deal. I mopped up all this water so there'd be more room for the carbon dioxide to uh, expand into. Um, I've got some carbon skimmers down here as well to help out. Um, and another squasher, which the critters don't seem to notice at all, uh, which is nice. Um... Now, as for down here, not a lot has happened. Uh, we're up to here, and it's sort of, it's slow going. Um, but we're really... Aha, they've done everything over here. Okay, so we can... Nope. Start working our way down. Um, which means that we can do that and dig that one up. There's this tiny little bit of uranium here, but that's fine. And we're going to lose... 
nine ton of petrol, but like, eh, it's not the worst. A um, little bit frustrating. Um, chances are I'm actually never really going to get into that the way we're going. Uh, but everything's going pretty well. I can dig those up now. Destroy that one. Yeah, we're just about there. So let's get this all finished. Um, and then hopefully that'll be it. Now, what I did, because all of the carbon dioxide was coming from down here, look at this, 200 and something, because they kept sneaking through this door, which they're allowed through again. I stopped them from going in through there for a little bit. Um, but I've put a joint plate here so they can't, uh, so the carbon dioxide doesn't keep pushing up through here. Um, I could put another one there, but I do need them at some, like, we, we got to get down here at some point, you know. Um, so that's just sort of where it's at. Uh, now. That's no good. Hmm. I'll have to put a wall here. The ice is all melted. How's that doing temperature-wise? That's, uh, nicer. It's not going to freeze in the pipes, at least. It's been working quite well. Um, so let's... So I don't forget. <laughs> um, they'll get that done eventually. And this will get rid of, uh, 720 gram a second. 100 gram a second. Uh, not a lot, but it helps. Every little bit helps. Now. Hopefully it won't take them long to get down here. Oh, and here's Turner at the bottom. I can destroy that one now as well. Uh, that one can stay for now because I don't want this uranium getting out either because that's all zombie spores. Um, so this is like a very delicate process. Uh, we will have to dig that sand up though. Let's come back up here. Uh, now this may need a ladder bit there. Uh, definitely needs a ladder segment there and there, and that one can go. Um, but yes, everything's going quite well. Um, so it'll be very nice to have this tunnel done today. Um, and then tomorrow we'll definitely get the, uh, rest of the condenser done. Oh. Gosh. Come on guys, where are you all at? Wait, what was that? Food poisoning? Excuse me? I actually don't know why that's a problem anymore, but sure. Uh, but this was at like seven or eight kilo down here for a little bit, so that's the reason they're so stressed is because um they had popped eardrums all the time. But everything's going well, I think. Um, now, what I do need to do is edit this line here so that it prioritizes the water coming from the outlet. Um, from this outlet here. Because uh, we had that little bit of a problem earlier where the toilet's backed up because the water wasn't coming out of there quick enough. Um... But we're okay for now. Oh, there's so many pipes. <laughs> Look at that spaghetti. <laughs> it's pretty good though. Um, and the nice thing about these is that they're water... Neutral? Yeah, water neutral. Um, yikes. <laughs> uh, but this is okay. We're not doing too badly. Um, it's just a bit... Bit stressful for a little bit. Oh, where we're up to. Something just got done. We can dig that one. We can dig that one. Uh, now, does any of this have... Yes, that has zombie spores. Uh, so I actually probably want to deconstruct these so they can dig in this way. Um, but yeah, I'm just sort of going about it, you know? Um, I'm not going to accidentally bust anything here. Can they reach that? Yes. Very good. 
I should probably download that mod that lets me speed things up a little bit more, huh? Oh, no, that's fine. And we did lose that grub grub somewhere here. But as usual, oh now, what's uh, quite funny to look at, if we just zoom out to here, uh, let's check the, nope, wrong one, temperature <laughs> um, of this tube. Is that gone back to vacuum? Yes, it has. Excellent. So all that water, I did nothing to this, by the way, all of that water, um, because it so the game won't bother creating things less than one gram right and because there was so little steam there to begin with um whenever it condensed back into water the water just vanished like it just went nowhere um which is very handy so it's uh just cancel that one for now oh sorry it's um not that late at night, believe it or not, it's only 9pm, but it is my bedtime. <laughs> ah, that's much better. Uh, yeah, that's okay, we can dig that one, we can cancel that one. And we can dig that up. We're just about there. This is super exciting. Uh, now, we're going to find out what happens to uranium. Oh, it evaporates at 4000, okay. What does it evaporate into? Rock gas? I think I've already checked that out, to be honest. Uh, and I can dig that up, and I can deconstruct these and this one. I think... whoops. We can... Can they not reach that? Why not? I suppose once we get this in, I can deconstruct this one, and then they'll get to it. Uh, but that can go. That's got to stay for now, because otherwise the sand will fall. There's a lot of, like, mental gymnastics in this. <sighs> oh, gosh. They can't reach that either. Oh, that needs to be a ladder there still. Okay, that's fair enough. No, he can reach it. Uh, that's going to produce a tiny amount of uh, nuclear fallout. Wait, unless I can flood it with enough pressured gas. Let's cancel that for now. Um, once this is all done and dug up, uh, then I can just... Yeah, the gas will stop it. Very good. Alright, how are they going back over at the base? Are we doing any better on the carbon dioxide? Eh, not really. Yikes. Oh, yes we are. Yeah, we are. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. More plastic? Sure. I'll take some more plastic. Uh, now... Something to be noted. Once this tunnel's finished, they'll be able to access the base from each side. I'm hoping that because they won't be coming up this way very often, only to um, build the um, pipes and everything, uh, I'm hoping that they won't, you know, do that very often. Um... That's where we're up to. Hey, everything's going quite well, though. Oh, uh, we do need more ladders. Oh, man. It's been a day. I just found out earlier that um, Season 2 of Beastars came out in January this year. And I've watched all of the second season today. I'm up to, like, the second last episode, I think. Yeah, episode 23. Uh, one minute. 
Jermies. Oh no. I'm hoping. Wait, maybe the heat's killing the zombie spores. Who knows? I didn't think they could reach that. Yikes. Wait. Does it mean there's still a block of sand there? No. But there's... Hmm... Uh, I don't know what to do about that. Uh, is the heat killing the zombie spores? Who knows? I think... I don't know. Um... I'm gonna have to build around this though. Alright, one second, there are zombie spores here. Um, I suppose, uh, hang on, there is this door up here. Um, and I can't really make a liquid lock because it's so cold up here. Yikes. Um, I'm gonna put a door, right, this door right here. They're not allowed through it anymore. Um, although gas can still get through. Uh, I need a proper door. Somewhere like... Well, it can't go there. There? They can climb up and over, so we're gonna have to put some tiles. Alright. And then because of the liquid lock down the bottom here, it won't get out. Although we're gonna start vacuuming this out. Uh, oh dear. Um... Well, I'm going to have to keep an eye out. Let me write that down. Zombie spores. Zombie spores in tunnel. Fortunately, the... Uh, well, I suppose this is uh, pointless now. Oh, I was so close. Alright, we're going to get this done. And I'm going to go to bed. Man, I'm tired. Uh, does heat kill zombie spores? Let's find out. Zombie spores. Transmitted through inhalation only. That's been happening a lot, and I think it's because they're holding their breath too much. Um, but things are going well. Down to... Th four yeah, 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 yeah. Things are going much better. Look at this. Okay, so it's, uh, it's working. Things are going well. And I'll just dig that up. Now that can be deconstructed. And we'll just have to mop up these things. Uh, excuse you. See, that's what I didn't want them doing. That's what this door is going to stop them from doing. No one is allowed through. Hey. I just said <laughs> it's because they can access the bottom of the door. Like the bottom. Uh, where's that? It's because they have access to up this way at the door. And that is coming to do it. Uh, and we need one more. There. And we're done. Oh, I can't believe it. Now, hopefully that uh, uranium will stay bottled. It's not letting off radiation, which is nice. 
I can't believe I got to this very last bit. I should have just killed it all, like blocked it all off. <sighs> oh well, that's what I get. Anyway, I am super stoked with that. Where are you going? Have you guys not built this yet? Um, I'll have to just keep an eye on them for a little bit after we finish all this building. Just to make sure that there's enough. I might even temporarily lock them all in the base. How's our... Uh... This is going fine. Um, yeah, for a little bit I might just lock them all in the base. Um, just to make sure that they're all in and that the suit, Atmo suits are all fine. Um, although I suppose... Hmm. I don't know if they're smart enough. If I leave it open for them to go around, are they smart enough to go around if they need? <gasps> We're done! The tunnel is finished! I thought that was going to take like three times as long as it did. Um, alright, so, here's the dealio. Got to do something about that. So there's an awful lot of steam in here. Um, next episode we will get all of this done. Um, I'm going to have to just deal with the... You know, just deal with the sulfur in here. Uh, but that's not the end of the world. You know, it, it'll just be a little bit annoying. Um, now let me just make sure this is all ceramic. Yes, that's all fine. And I've made these out of obsidian, which I think is just fine. Look how bright that naphtha is. I've got an idea for that, by the way. Um, yes, so we'll get this all done. Um... I'm going to look into vacuuming all this out, which again will just have to happen off camera. Now, because there's now zombie spores in there, I think I'm just going to destroy it all. Um, which sucks, but what can you do? Uh, and then uh, I was going to pump it all into... I was going to start dealing with this steam vent and pump it all into there, but... um. Uh, that's not going to happen now, especially not with those spores. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Um, anything else? Uh, all of this will sort itself out in time. And I don't think there's much else to talk about. Um, so that is going to have to be it for today. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Um... I definitely haven't forgotten anything. I just feel like I have. I don't know. It's been a really weird day. <laughs> uh, yes, so next time, finish this, uh, start vacuuming this out, and then we can get this up and running. Um, now, I will also have to... So, uh, episode 48. Um, vacuum tunnel... Uh, finish condenser and I need to uh, set up uh, the pipes for cooling now uh, wait quickly before I go helium it condenses at negative 268 whereas hydrogen Condenses at negative 252. Well, yeah, we'll put helium in the uh, loop. Um, now, the pipes can go in the vacuumed out area because they won't transfer any heat. Um, so they'll just skirt up around here. And then we'll have them wrap around here now. As you can see, I've already got... Uh, these, um, and I will actually, um, pop it up there and we'll delete that one. 
Um, and I'll keep an eye on these duplicates to make sure that they all get back in the base safely. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully that wasn't too quiet. My mic was a fair way away for a little bit there. Um, but yes, thank you everyone for being here. Um, hopefully it hasn't been too boring. <laughs> um, I got, I'm just so glad that tunnel's done now. Um, the vacuuming will take quite a while, you know, because it's just a very long way. Um, but that's, that's fine. We'll get there. Um, we just have to, you know, do a little bit at a time and it'll all be done before you know it. So yeah, thank you everyone for being here and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.